right, part B, part B, second part of systems by substitution. Here we have same kind of thing, but I didn't isolate any of the variables. So your first step is going to be isolate a variable. All right, and you want to find what is the easiest variable to isolate. What's the easiest variable to get by itself? All right. I'm looking for something like this. H is almost already by itself. Or I could be looking for something like this. All right, two G's. It's easy to divide by two if I need to. So I could get G by itself. But uh, so let me let me show both ways. Okay. If I want to get H by itself. I need to get rid of 7Gs. How do I do that? Subtract 7Gs from both sides. So minus 7Gs, minus 7Gs over here will disappear. All right, we would have H equals 52 minus 7Gs. Okay, and then you could do what we did in the last uh, part A from that point. All right, your other option is like I said, I can add 5H to both sides to make that disappear. And then I would need to divide by 2. All right, divide everything by 2. So we will have G equals 73 divided by 2 is 36.5. And 5H divided by 2 is 2.5 H's. Okay, and again, having done that, having isolated G, we could do what we did in part A. All right, take this, substitute it in. So I'm going to rewrite my top equation, 7g's, I think I might need more space than that, plus h equals 52, and again, maybe I want to put my 1 in front of my h at this point. Instead of writing g, I'm going to write 36.5 plus 2.5h. Okay, distribute 7 times 36.5, I'm going to use a calculator for that. Interesting though, 365, 7 days a week, 365 days a year, that's an interesting coincidence of a pair of numbers. Alright, 255.5. Seven times two and a half, that's 14 and three and a half is 17 and a half H's. That's distributing my seven, plus we have this one H equals 52. Combine like terms. And we got 255.5 plus 18.5 H's equals 52. Use some opposite operations. Subtract both sides by 255.5. So 52 minus 255.5 is negative 203.5 equals 18.5 H's. Divide both sides by 18.5, and we got H equals negative 11. Okay, take that. We've substituted, we've solved, take that. Substitute it back into the equation I didn't use yet. So I could either go back to this original, 
right, if I don't want to deal with those decimals, or just come in here. All right, this 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 actually, even though it looks like decimals are tough to deal with, is pretty simple because when I put h, when I put negative eleven in here, we'll just get an answer. All right, no kind of algebra we have to do. Thirty-six point five plus two point five parentheses negative eleven instead of h, and you just do your calculation with a calculator we get this. Okay. H or G equals nine. All right, you can double check. Seven times nine, 63, plus negative 11, 52. All good. Two times nine, 18, minus Five times negative 11, negative 55, so 18 plus 55, 73, all good. Those two values solve these two equations. All right. Hit pause, see if you can do this. Then on pause. I'm going to try to isolate this guy. So subtract five C's from both sides. Again, why am I trying to isolate this one? For me, it's easy to divide by two. So, and in this case, divide by negative 2, divide both sides by negative 2, we'll have D equals 74 divided by negative 2 is negative 37 plus negative 5 divided by negative 2 is positive 2.5C. Okay, isolated D. Now I'm going to take this value and replace D up there. All right, so here we go. Isolated, now we're substituting. 3 times C plus 4 times D equals 8. Instead of writing D, I'm going to write negative 37 plus 2.5c. Okay. Distribute. 3c's plus 4 times negative 37 is negative something. Negative 120, 148. True. Plus. 4 times 2.5 is 10. C's equals 8. All right, so that's distributing, combine like terms, 10 C's and 3 C's is 13 C's minus 148 equals 8. Opposite operations, add 148 to both sides, 13 C's equals 156. And last but not least, divide both sides by 13, and we will have C equals 12. Okay, C equals 12. So we isolated, we substituted, we solved for C. Now we're gonna work on getting a value for D. We're gonna take this, substitute in here. So we've got D equals negative 37 plus 2.5 times 12. 
do the math. 2.5 times 12 is 30, plus negative 37 is negative 7. All right, D is negative 7. Double check. 3 times C, so 3 times 12, plus 4 times D, 4 times negative 7, hopefully will give me 8. All right, that's what I should get. Looking at my other one, 5 times C, 5 times 12, minus 2 times D, 2 times negative 7, hopefully gives me 74. Okay? So these are the two values, the ordered pair, that will solve both of those equations. Anyway, that's solving by substitution, solving systems by substitution with isolation. That's how it works. Go have fun with them.